Hey, just because there aren't laws anymore doesn't mean that manners don't exist, so slow the fuck down! Holy shit, that is a strong steering wheel. Good purchase, my god. Stop, stop, I'm gonna need a ride and I'm gonna need my shovel back. I can car surf if need be, I've got limber knees. Now where are we headed? I could definitely use a pit stop for some churros. Oh, my fucking knees! Judge, judge the internal bleeding. It hurts so much, but I can't even see it. You're awfully flippin' for someone with a knife to his throat. Far Cry New Dawn! A game that I can't stop playing, and a game that is flat out weird. Yo! What the- Definitely fun weird, definitely awesome weird, but definitely weird weird. <laughs> Oh boy, you woke the wrong dog! Eat it, Fluffy! I just sold my soul to the devil! I can do this all day! I can do this all day! Before I explain what you just saw, let's knock out a couple things. Boom! That one's over the fence! Firstly, thank you to Ubisoft for not only sponsoring today's video, but giving me early access. Especially on my home PC, it has been a blast! So if you're interested in what you see in today's video, there's a link to the game down below in the description. Secondly, this is not my final video on Far Cry because I intend on turning every last stone and squeezing every last drop out of this game over the next month or two before I make a big ass all-inclusive summary. Thirdly, the point of this video is to showcase all of the neato shit and useful shit that the game has to offer because I was watching some videos and I was watching some streams and I felt as if there was so much they were missing out on or unaware of that I wanted to share from my perspective without spoiling the game. So I'm keeping things brief and this video contains no spoilers as far as the plot goes. I don't reveal anything beyond what you've seen in official trailers. An example would be Joseph Seed. That's not a spoiler because he was revealed in a trailer. But more importantly, this video contains nothing from Act 3, which is where shit really starts to explode when it comes to the story. So without further ado, here's all the neato shit and useful shit that you probably haven't heard of yet. Eden's gift is the big, big, big one that I just have to start with. Some say I'm blessed, but I say I'm gifted! Once you finish Act 1, which is super quick and basically just an introduction, Act 2 gives you the ability to head up north and visit Joseph C. My name. Finish all of his missions, like navigating the creek, making the signs align, and slaying the beast, so he rewards you with Eden's gift. Aw, oh, hell yeah! I know old Papa Joe here was the bane of my existence before the nuclear apocalypse, but these abilities are so powerful that words do not describe. I said, stop resisting my gifts! There are five total perks in this special subset, and I'll tease you with two of them. The first obviously being wrath. Flame on! My shovel is called Optimism, which means I'm killing you with an adjective. No way, optimism is a noun. Optimistic is an adjective. Excuse me, Susan, there are relocation packages available in your area. You know, Ricky, I would say this thing hits like a truck, but even trucks don't hit this hard. It's basically like going ultra instinct, only most of the time I had a shovel in my hands. And I'm, I'm not a mathematician, but I'm pretty sure that's greater than plain old ultra instinct. Remember, Sarah, what goes up must come down. Sorry, buddy, but physics don't apply to the gifted. I cannot believe this shovel has not broken yet. Bada bop, boop, still unbroken. This is what I like to call a low blow. How is this thing not broken yet? It's gotta be just as I say it. But don't let a broken shovel get you down, because not only does the gift automatically recharge after being depleted, but it works with your fists too, which obviously never break or need to be reloaded. Stop firing bullets at me while I'm fighting a bear! Well, I hope that, I mean, that hurts, shit fuck. I'm gonna be honest, this is just effortless at this point. In comes the bitch. Oh, he's out of here. And as much as I want to make this video a 20 minute smackdown of Highwaymen where I overly emphasize impact words like a complete moron, I'll spare you. As long as you listen to me talk about my second favorite perk of Eden's gift, Leap of Faith. Bang, bang, whoop. 
zero gravity. Eh, superhuman speed, superhuman strength. Why not add in superhuman hops that give you a boost in midair? It couldn't hurt. God, this is awesome. I feel like Michael, last name I won't state for legal reasons, buzzed off the bliss. However, completing Joseph's missions not only gives you Eden's gift, it also gives you the judge, who I just call judge, who is the best silent, creepy ghost friend that you could ever ask for. <laughs> Look at this guy. Just straight posted. This guy may not talk a big game. <clears throat> hey, your first word. I'm so glad I could be here to hear it. And he may be a little judgy. I like to call him silent, but judgy. And there's nobody else that I'd rather have by my side. Do I have any rockets left? I do not. He's just leaving because he's firing fire arrows at him? No way. No way. Wow. Wow. Judge to the rescue. This dude is out here ziplining and shit. His feral friendly perk even saves you harassment from animals because they only attack you if you attack them first while he's by your side. And to be honest, that is mega useful, especially while you're doing all that underwater treachery. Whatever you do, don't panic. I'm using up all the panic around here. You're gonna use up all the oxygen in your blood if you panic, then you double drown. It's human body basics. So this might sound like irrational, but where there's water, there's crocodiles. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. Chubbs? Don't look at me, Chubbs. I'm not a tasty snack, I'm a ghost. You don't even see me. You don't see- You're just gonna let me on by, Chubbs, cause you're a big dumb dinosaur that should've died when that rock hit the earth like a trillion billion years ago. Oh fuck! Oh god! Oh fuck! I've got nothing against Carmina because she's tough as nails and can take a bullet and a punch. What the fuck? But nobody beats my boy silent but judgy. Expeditions, another huge one that I missed out on for a long time. So find this Quebecois looking dude that mumbles between French and English and he'll fly you around the country to various looting missions like an aircraft carrier, Alcatraz, yes, that Alcatraz, a Bayou amusement park, and even the Grand Canyon. Fuck yeah, tabarnak! You got the package and left the highwayman with nothing! <laughs> I give you a big kiss, but I'm fine, you know, but fuck, I'm gonna find you later, watch out! The one you gotta look out for, though, the crashed military plane. Because if you take your time and explore the whole level, I've got two words for you. Oh shit, no way! Sam motherfucking Fisher. I hope I'm not ruining the lore because he usually carries a much more tactical pistol, so pay no attention to my gangster ass Mac 11 over there. But man, Sam Fisher! He may not be here, but I can hear his voice in my head just saying, I love bureaucrats. And if you think I'm not going ultra instinct while I'm Sam Fisher, y'all really on some shit. I'm gonna hit you like a cigar chomping banker! Change that H to a T and I become Sam. Fister! Oh, is Sam Fisher about to throw a stick of dynamite? Yup, he sure is. With my wildest dreams finally coming to fruition, there was only one thing left to do. There's only one thing I gotta do. There's only one thing I gotta do. Come here, chill. Oh, you piece of prehistoric green sh- <laughs> And I think that about covers all the big stuff. I mean, I could bore you with all the small stuff that you figure out anyways, like the wingsuit is the best form of rapid transportation. I wanna fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle, let my spirit carry me. I wanna fly, oh shit. But I'm sure you'll figure all that stuff out eventually. Hey, lunatic, what have I been telling you all my other fucking me? Ow! Judge, please, judge, thank you. And that is about 
it. Thanks so much for watching my video. It means the world to me. Thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. So don't forget, the game that you just saw, you can play via the link down below me. And I cannot wait to play more. I can't wait for another 30 to 60 to 90 days when people don't care about spoilers anymore, when I can include everything in one single video. Oh, I'm so excited. So once again, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. R.I.P. Chubbs. I promise I'll find a way to revive you somehow in my next playthrough. I wished upon a star last night and thought of you But it must have been a dream cause you're not here I've never been one to believe in fairy tales of fantasy But perhaps it's time for a change of mind I guess there's a